Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. There's always a misconception of what the PS60 theory is. And that misconception is uh, that a lot of people believe it's, you know, it's just, it's a scalping strategy. I personally scalp because again, that's where my comfort zone is right now. Um, I believe that I don't need exposure anymore, which is so ironic considering how I started trading realistically, which was all full exposure, uh, overnight exposure. But where I am right now, I believe that the stocks that we trade every, every day give us uh, a huge average true range every single day. So for example, uh, Tesla's average true range, if you look at Tesla's average true range today, it went from, you know, it literally is, went from uh, 827, if that's a real print, uh, but let's, we definitely know it was in the 820. So we went from 827, uh, you know, back to, you know, back to, what was it, 814, back to 825, back to 799, now it's back to 805. So the true ranges on these things are tremendous. Amazon, uh, Netflix, uh, you know, all these things. So it's it's only it's only a question now of what is your comfortability level. So when we make a watch list on the you know on the on the the nightly email, this is called a daily watch list. Okay, these are not sixty minute channels. These are all these are all areas that daily charts need to confirm. Okay. Um, so what we use, for example, what I use, uh, is obviously pre-market indicators of the high, the lows of the ranges, but these are the levels that every single day that when you turn on your computer the next day, they need to be confirmed. So if we're having a conversation, uh, on the pure aspects of trading that obviously everything gapped down today. And obviously we saw a lot small, a lot lower prices. Okay. We saw a lot lower prices and we've traded on those channels. But when you're trading on the daily side, okay, and you want to swing these things, it's very, very easy. Okay. There's no such thing as an easy trade, but there's something called swing trading, which is which is very, very easy uh to understand, to apply, but for whatever reason, people just make it a lot harder than it actually is. So here was last night's watch list. Okay. So BYND, you can see here, BYND short 3150, 31. 50, 31 NOW, Amazon, MDB. And again, we all know what happened. Everything got uh, absolutely destroyed. Um, and for all you guys who caught the trades, fantastic. For all you guys who didn't catch trades, again, it's part of the business. It is what it is. Okay. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, but the key to any type of trading is being comfortable. Okay. Uh, some people like day trading, it gives the power, you know, they, they have the power in their hands. Uh, they are taking out, okay, they're absolutely taking out uh, the overnight exposure, the overnight risk, the overnight uncertainty, the overnight headlines, so forth and so forth and so forth and on and on and on, okay? But there's other people who don't like the fast action. They they don't like the idea that, you know, Tesla could go up or down five points within 30 seconds. It happens, right? It happens all the time. Uh, so they they refer to something that we call right swing trading or position trading or overnight trading whatever the case may be something that is not going to put them in a situation that their brain is going to explode every single time they see the stock up and down up and down up and down up and down and this is where we use uh and this is where we use daily channels for swing positions so for example let's pretend now we could only pretend um, that we're talking about strictly from the swing trading point of view. Okay. So we're going to use these areas here. Okay. As an area to enter trade. So for example, uh, BYND from last night. Okay. BYND from last night. Um, okay. So here we go. So BYND from last night, we knew that 301, excuse me, one, was it what? Excuse me, 13150, right? 13150, 131 was going to be the daily confirmation. Does everybody see that? Right, guys? The low here, the low here, uh, the low here was 13260s. It broke that from yesterday. Matter of fact, BYND 
broke 34 yesterday, right? That started, you know, started the whole sell off, right? 34, 34. It broke the 3260s and put in a low of 131.50. Does everybody see that, guys? Right? Everybody see that? 131.50, right? Everybody see the lows from yesterday, 131.50. So we knew going into today's session that if you wanted to swing the stock short, okay, you're going to need to take a position under 131.50, 131, which is yesterday's, correct? Which is yesterday's low, okay? And you knew based on technical analysis that your first area, right? Your first area of measured potential was going to be the next rising support, which is roughly between the 122 to 125 area. So you already knew to the downside. Again, let's take today out of the equation. Not every single day are you going to have a swing position that's going to go nine points in three minutes. Okay, let's 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 take the fantasy world out of it. This is kind of what we talk about every single day: chip away, chip away, chip away until they give you a really, really big right. They give you a really, really big aggressive uh, hole to run through. Pardon, you know, pardon the football terminology, but again, you can see I'm getting desperate. Um, right. So what you're doing basically is taking a position below yesterday's low, which was one thirty one fifty one thirty one. And you already know your next measured potential, okay, which is anywhere between 122, 125. And the way that you are managing the position is using the previous day's high, okay, as your max pain, okay, your previous day's high as your max pain. So if you took a position at 301.50, okay, you're going to have to risk, okay, roughly, you're going to have to risk roughly 140 on the straight. Everybody see why? Right, guys, because these stocks are so huge with average true range, some of these risks are going to be $10, $12, $15. Okay. But that's on beta. Okay. Think about that. That's on beta. That's not on every single stock. So, for example, if you took a short last night, I'm just, I'm just using a position. I'm just using an example. Let's pretend you took a long on, Jesus, anything, um, Goldman Sachs, right? Let's just say you took a long on Goldman Sachs. Okay. Even a Goldman Sachs had a big, big range. But the, the the point is you're using the pre if you're going if you're going long, you're using the previous day's low as your stop. And if you're going short, right? If you're going short, correct? If you're going short, you're using the previous day's high. And that's the risk. So so when people turn around, okay, when people turn around, for example, and say, I want a swing trade, right? But do you also realize you're putting on the exaggerated risk, okay, of swing trading? Again, you are facing uncertain times, uncertain economy, uncertain exposure, uncertain uh, news overnight, okay? You're constantly putting exposure. So my point is, again, and this is my point of why I trade beta, not why you trade beta when somebody else trades beta. The reason why I trade beta, we don't need, okay, we, we absolutely don't need at least I don't need. I don't need exposure overnight um, to still have enough range throughout the day that I could sleep at night. Okay. So when you are swing trading, the key to the nightly email, okay, the key to the nightly email is understand these are all daily charts, right? These are all daily charts. They're not 60 minute channels. Okay. They're absolutely all daily charts. So for example, uh, NOW, right? Uh, 379 50, 379 short, right? So this was NOW from last night. Okay. So this was NOW last night. It closed below the five day moving average. Okay. And so 379.63 was yesterday's low, right? 369.73. So we said on 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 the email, uh 3, 379.50, 379 if it builds below, can flush. Your first target was obviously 76. And if it built 76, you had room to 60. Okay. And you go down the list. Amazon 2413 short, right? Does everybody understand why Amazon 2413 short? Right? Does everybody understand why 2413 was yesterday short, right? On the watch list? Because the low yesterday was 2414. Okay. But again, keep this, you know, again, keep this in mind. Okay. When you're swinging a stock like Amazon, when you're swinging a stock like Netflix and Tesla, especially Amazon, your risk from the night before could be 50 points, right? It could be 50 points. And again, if you're taking, 
you know, if you're taking, if that is up to you, that that's my point, Adam, if it's up to you, at times we'll also see a lot of names on the watch list, right? We'll see a lot of names on the watch list that are not beta. For example, you know, how many times have we, you know, I, I try to put as much as I can on the watch list that's not beta, okay? Um, but last night was so, last night was so easy, I don't use the word easy. Last night was so visually, can I say visually easy? Like, like last night I was so, I had so much conviction that we were going to get lower. I didn't need to find obvious. That's the word I want to work. Okay. Okay. I want to use the word obvious. I didn't need to find long positions, right? I, I didn't need to find long positions. I knew I was a hundred percent sell bias today. Like I knew no matter what happened today, I knew I was going to be a hundred percent sell biased. So this was just last night was, you know, again, you're not going to, you really very rarely are going to find a watch list that I had a hundred percent conviction one way, right? Usually you don't, you usually don't see me have a watch list, a hundred percent conviction one way. So maybe last night's watch list is not the, is not the normal, right? It's, it's not the normal of watch list because there was so much conviction and so much measured potential to the downside. Okay. Well, that's the thing. I, I mean, that's the thing, Vic. If you're swinging the stock, okay. If you're swinging the stock and you're up a dollar on the position, again, what are you doing with the position? Th think, think about that from again. There, there, there's, there's, a, there's an old adage that says you can't be a little bit pregnant. Correct? You can't be a little bit pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. You can't be maybe pregnant. You can't be a little bit pregnant. But again, where is where is the law to say that you're putting on a swing position and you're up a dollar on the trade and you're not taking anything off, right? Where is the law then becomes, well, now that I'm up a dollar in the position, I'm up $2 in the position, you know, I should go to break even, you know, I should go now to break even as my trade. You could always do that. But then again, the question then remains is, is that a swing trade, right? Why is that different than anything we anything you're doing intraday. So you absolutely can do that a hundred percent, right? You absolutely can do that a hundred percent all good, right? Again, there's no, there's nothing in the, in the manual and the, the playbook that says, you know what? Don't take money off the table. Okay. But again, when you're, when you're truly swinging a position, okay, you are, you are physically using the previous day's Let's just say if you're if you're doing it for the upside, right? Let's say you get long the stock, right? You get long the stock at ten. I'm I'm just using any like like you, you get long the stock at ten, right? Yesterday's you know yesterday's low yesterday's low was nine twenty seven. Okay, so let's pretend you buy the stock at ten. It's on the watch list, ten dollar break, and then the stock goes to ten fifty. Right, stock goes to ten fifty. Again, who am I to say, right, Vic? Who am I to say to turn around and say, hey, Vic? You're not allowed to take money off. You're swinging it. Come on, man. You're swinging it. $12 is the target. You're swinging it. Don't take it off. You're swinging it. Who am I to say? Stock goes to 11. Vic, you're swinging it. You're not allowed to take it. You're swinging it. You're swinging it. What does that mean? It's all subjective, right? It's all subjective. I've had I've had trades that I physically said, and, 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 I, and I've said this for years uh, in the webinar, I'm the absolute worst swing trader now of all time. How many times have I put on a trade and I say, hey guys, this is a swing. The stock goes up a dollar in 30 seconds. Okay, I got to sell this. <laughs> I'm terrible at that, right? I'm terrible, right, Pearson? Ken, guys, how many times have you heard me say, how many times have you heard me say, this is a swing, the stock goes up a dollar in seconds. I go, okay, I sold some stock. So I'm terrible at it, right? I'm terrible. So there, there is no, you know, there is no, there is no playbook, man. You know what I mean? You got to take profits off when you have profits. But again, um, again, when you are Boeing, I, I, I like Boeing off 50. I like Boeing off 50. That's why I like Boeing. Um, yeah, but I, I think if you're traditionally, if you're traditionally, if you are traditionally swing trading in stock, Okay. Um, if you are traditionally swinging stock, you have to use the previous day's low if you're long, and you have to use the previous day's high if you're short. Okay. Obviously, again, 
I always recommend take money off, take money off, take money off, take money off. Again, there's no guarantees. I've, I've, had, I've had positions where I used to keep a book, right? Um, I, used to, I used to have positions where I used to keep a book and they were profitable. They were good positions. They were profitable for weeks and weeks and weeks. And then all of a sudden, two weeks later, I turned it into a red trade. So again, who's to say what a swing trade is? Think about that, right guys? Who's to say what a swing trade honestly is, folks, okay? It's very, very important. It's very, very important uh, to understand that when you are taking a longer term position, you are taking on a longer term, right? You're taking on a longer term risk. War, uh, coronavirus, trade war, God knows what, right? You're taking on all that risk. If you're okay with that risk, then again, you absolutely have the right, okay? If you're not okay with that risk, then again, then you have, you know, you have to have a really good, solid conversation with yourself to try to figure out what exactly what you do. But what you want to do, and this is kind of how I want to like kind of wrap this up. I'll, I'll answer a couple of questions here, but you know, I want to, I want to start. I, th I think we could get some more value here today. Um, but anything off the daily watch list, okay, these are valid daily swings, okay? These are da daily swings, uh, both on the long side and the short side. So if you're taking a swing short, you're using the previous day's high. If you are using, if you're going long, you're using the previous day's low, okay? As far as, I, I understand that people want to make it more, more complex than it is. That's basically it. That's what swing trading is. Uh, obviously, are you going to put on a swing trade after the market's going up linear? Probably not. The best swing trades long side always come from the bottom to the middle channels. Um, and, and the best swing trades to the downside are when stocks are coming off rounding tops, okay, and start losing their five-day moving average. So uh, for all you guys who are watching this at home, uh, for all you guys who are watching this at home, especially on the Twitter, uh, on the Twitter feed, again, just to kind of recap, uh, anything, anything off the watch list uh, at nighttime, these are daily channels. These are not 60-minute channels. These are not five-minute channels. These are daily confirmation channels. So anything that you take as a short swing, use the previous day's high. Anything that you take as a long swing, use previous day's low. Okay, guys. So we're going to wrap that up. If anybody has any questions, feel free to email me uh, and we'll obviously uh, answer more of the questions above. All right, guys. And that is. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.